we're going to walk through how to sign up for your free Jupyter One account. So first step is to go to jupyterone.io slash sign up, and that will bring you here. Um, from here, you can make a username and put in your user uh, email and set a password. After you click sign up, you'll be taken to a page that requests you for a verification code. Do not close this tab or browser until you're able to input that verification code. Uh, check your email. Grab the six digit code and put it in here. After you sign up, you'll be you'll have access to the app. You can start filling out the information required. So as it's just an example, you do have to fill out all of these uh, fields. And you can also set your vanity domain URL. So whatever you want this to be um, is, is perfectly reasonable. This is how you'll access the app uh, in the future. Once you get through that first step, uh, the rest of these steps are kind of onboarding steps that for the purposes of a workshop, you can just go ahead and skip and click, OK, I got this. If this is your first time signing up for your own account, um, it could be helpful to step through these steps and say, you know, who, who you are, what are your priorities? And if it makes sense, you can start adding integrations or you can skip these steps, um, start running queries, and check out your any assets that you may have integrated. Um, if you click, OK, I got this, uh, it will just be taken directly to the landing page. Um, same thing if you click Finish Onboarding. And from here, your account's good to go. And you'll be ready to receive invites to a workshop or start setting up the rest of your uh, Jupyter One integrations account or policies and procedures. You can also join our community to get access to our free video gallery and learn how to write queries 